guys welcome back to another video today in this video I'll be talking about turtles the turtles that I've had and have right now and how to take care of water cooters and water t and w red eared sliders um, the first turtle I'm going to show y'all is sassy um, she is a water cooter she does not have no red ears and the reason why her name is Sassy is because when I first got her, she did have a little bit of an attitude and she did try to bite. But what I do is just kept messing with her and she finally calmed down. And I got two more turtles about to show y'all. Um, but I'm going to put her back in her tank. And what I feed my turtles is liver. You can use chicken or beef. And what I have my turtles in is this right here. It has a hide in the middle and something they can get onto it, bask on. I'm going to put her down in here. And I'm going to get another turtle, and his name is Nub. And he lives in the same tank as Sassy. He doesn't really have much of an attitude. Um, he is a common red-eared slider. He does have the red ears. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But he is a just a red-eared slider. Um... When I forgot him, he didn't have a no attitude. I call him Nub because his tail um, just has a nub on it. When I got him, it was bitten off by something. Um, he is a male because males have these really long nails. And the females have very short nails, like bear-like claws. He eats the same thing as Sassy. And they do have to have UV light, which mine are outside. So they get sunlight and they mainly stay hidden um, all the time. Every now and then you might see them out basking on their cement block I have in their pool. Or they just stay hidden. Sometimes they might come out to eat. And I feed mine every other day. Um, if you have baby turtles, you want to feed them every day. Um, but you gotta wait until they have absorbed the yolk on their belly. Then you can feed them the first meal, which you might want to feed them every single day. Um, when they get about, mm, about as big as my turtles I just showed y'all. Um, then you want to feed them every other day. And I do have a third turtle. He's a red, or not red ear, slider, but he's a, a water cooter. His name is Sid. Because when I first got him, he was slow. And he's a little shy because he has his head tucking right now. Um, which he's just an ordinary water cooter and he's a male because he's long claws um i have all three of my turtles they live in the same enclosure all together um sometimes i might have one out swimming around and the other two might be hidden in their hide other than that they're normally out swimming around just looking for food which i feed mine every other day and now as you get one that is a little bit sassy you do want to mess with it so it can come down and get used to you holding it you do want to use two hands when you're holding your turtle um but if you if you ever let your turtle down on the ground you do have to watch it because they can move really fast they might seem like they move slow but in a matter of seconds the turtle could uh, be gone without you even knowing um, I just keep um, clean water in their tank you want to clean your tank about once or twice a week so um, so you can actually get your turtles without them trying to bite you when you can't see in the water Sorry about the noise in the background. It just my ducks quacking. Um, 
you do want to keep them in a big enough enclosure enough like if you have three like I do you want to keep them in a pretty good sized enclosure like this right here that's what I keep mine in it's pretty big for three but if but um, I make sure that they get fed you can hand feed them they might be a little shy um, um, other than that, they're pretty good pets. They sometimes like to do, like, they want to come out of the enclosure. Like, you can't bring them out of the enclosure, but you can actually put them in a cage. If you want, make sure they have shade and, like, water supply they can get to. Um... If you ever, like, come across a turtle in the wild, um, just help it across the road. Do not, uh, bring it back across the road. Bring it to the, across the road that it was going, um, and if you ever want, like, wanted to get, like, a pet turtle, make sure, like, you have your supplies already ready. So, like, when you bring your turtle home, you can put them right in it so they can get used to its surroundings, and... And sometimes, like, if it sees you, it will swim away because it's scared. It thinks you're a predator. Um, you can feed it vegetables. Like, in the wild, they would eat grass, leaves off a tree, or anything they can get to. Um, you can feed them meat because I just feed mine liver, like chicken or beef. Um, you can feed them a salad if you want to. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can. Um, that's mainly all I know about red-eared sliders and water cooters. If you want to learn more about turtles, just let me know in the comments. Um, I have had box turtles in the past. I know a lot about them. But I won't talk about box turtles in this video. That is all I have for this video for today. And I'll be doing videos every Sunday and Friday. And that is all I have for this video. So hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. And also, if you want to learn any more about animals, just let me know in the comment section below.